Max and Danny were traveling in the wilderness of ice. Today they were snowmobiling. It was going to be so nice. They would explore this vast plain to find the polar bears in their domain. They rented snowmobiles for a reasonable fee and started the vehicles excitedly. With their bags full of survival gear, the two friends rode off without any fear. Along the trail, Max had an idea to race. He sped up to try and gain first place. Danny caught on as quick as a flash. He certainly wasn't going to be in last. They crossed the ice land in a blur of yellow and red. But soon, Max realized something that filled him with dread. Before he could do anything to stop, Max crashed into a snowbank with a great plop. Danny laughed at the unfortunate sight. <laughs> but he too would be in a similar plight. Not paying attention, Danny crashed. Now both of them were feeling abashed. Max was the first to put himself together. Whew. Soon he was feeling a whole lot better. But Danny was still stuck in the ice. Help me. Perhaps a shovel would suffice. Max took out the shovel and began to dig. However, the task proved to be too big. He tried a knife, a pick, and a hammer. Nothing worked in any manner. Max sat in the snow and thought and thought. then took out the tool that he had just bought. It was a jackhammer, shiny and new. Max then went back to the rescue. In no time at all, Danny was on his feet. Two friends reunion was very sweet. But alas, to the great dismay, the snowmobiles were ruined and the sky was turning gray. The lads put on snowshoes and gathered their gear. They had to find shelter. The storm was getting near. Just over the next hill they found a small cave. They rejoiced at their being saved. Into the cave they ran to hide. And barely, just in the nick of time. The blizzard blew all day and night. It crashed upon the cave with terrible might. The next morning, Max and Danny awoke from their sleep. <sighs> the blizzard had made the snow quite deep. They crawled out of the cave and into the sun. Perhaps today would be even more fun. The friends took out their compass and map to try and find their way back to the base camp. After a couple of hours walking on the snowy ground, the two friends heard such a horrible sound. A growling could be heard in the frosty air, as a cat with sharp fangs stared with a glare. It was a saber-toothed cat, eyeing the friends as a morning snack. Max and Danny shrieked and ran for dear life in the hopes that they might survive. Soon one cat became two, and on and on until it was a zoo. The friends were backed into a corner as the beasts closed in on their border. Max and Danny were completely afraid. All they could do now was hope and pray. <laughs> as the nearest cat closed in for a bite, a loud trumpeting sound gave the cats a fright. The ground shook with thunder like a storm brewing from down under. A herd of woolly mammoths trampled through the pack. The cats answered the call with their own attack. Max and Danny couldn't believe what they saw. The saber-toothed cats began to withdraw. Soon the mammoths have won the fight, marching to battle as an army of knights. Two mammoths 
picked up Danny and Max and hoisted them up upon their backs. The mammoths then took the two friends to their journey's wonderful end. Soon Max and Danny saw what they originally came to see. Polar bears playing and swimming as happy as could be. The mammoths lowered Danny and Max from upon their woolly backs. They then turned to watch the polar bears and enjoy the cool crisp air. They stayed with the bears for the rest of the day while the animals swam and played. Max and Danny had quite a tale about events of a magnificent scale. Eventually, the friends realized they would have to pay for crashing their snowmobiles the previous day. Danny asked, How much do you think it will cost to pay for the snowmobiles that we lost? Max replied, I have money aplenty. He reached into his pocket and realized it was empty. <gasps> oh no! Somewhere along the frozen plain, a roll of cash would always remain. Max fainted and fell onto the ground. His disbelief was certainly profound. Danny tried to comfort his friend. And here's where our story ends.